are here in Rotterdam Zoo at the Coral Tunnel. In nature, these fish are herbivores and omnivores. And uh, this gives us a problem because the feeds that we have currently available for these fish are frozen food and pellets. These pellets look quite green and they're called spirulina pellets, but the main ingredient is still fish meal. And it also contains uh, many agricultural products like soy, peas and wheat. In fact, that's quite unnatural. Most of the fish here don't eat fish. In nature, of course, they won't uh, bump into soy or any other of these plants in the sea. What we have here is a mix of micro and macro algae binded with achar. Achar is made of uh, red and brown seaweed. Um, and we want to make it in this form so we can make uh, a grazing diet for the fish. So it's really hot. What we can do now is cover the stones with it. As you can see, the stone itself has small holes and, uh, and edges in it. This makes it harder for us to put the feet on. But the cool thing about this is that this ensures us that the, the fish that has particular beaks to scrape or pull the normally seaweed from the hard surface of, of the reefs now can do the same in our environment. The, the stones in so they can also uh, express their grazing behavior. You can already see the reef fish coming here and especially the, the purple tanks. I'm really glad that they're there and that they graze so well because these fish have a diet in the wild that's above 90% of uh, seaweed and uh, macro algae. Uh, as you can see they are doing what we want them to do, graze like they would do in the wild.